Hi, I'm Steph. Welcome and thanks for joining Dance for VE Day. So, a few safety things before we get started. Number one, make sure you have space to dance. We're not going to travel a lot, but you don't want to be dancing into your sofa or falling over your cat. So just take a moment, look around you, move whatever you need to move. Number two, you need to be comfortable when you're dancing. I'm just wearing leggings and a t-shirt today. That's all you need. You don't need special equipment. Just be able to move, be comfortable. Number three, wear sensible footwear. For me, that means lace-up pumps, nothing fancy. Anything that you feel comfortable moving in is going to work. Number four, if you have any pre-existing health conditions or any injuries, be mindful of those. If something hurts or you're struggling to breathe, just stop dancing. It's fine, you can come back to it later, or maybe you can try a modified version of the dance. I'll be doing a seated version later on in the week if that's something that will suit you better. So let's talk some more about VE Day. VE Day is on the 8th of May. It marks the formal surrendering of Germany and the end of the war in Europe. World War II itself didn't formally end until the 2nd of September 1945, after six long years of devastating conflict. On VE Day in 1945, millions of people took to the streets to celebrate, with bonfires, street parties, music and dancing. And here's a fun fact for you if you live on the Cambridge Road estate. 75 years ago, the roads where you live were renowned in the borough for being the best decorated. You may have seen photographs and film of people dancing the jitterbug on VE Day in 1945. This is another name for the Lindy Hop, a black American art form which originated in Harlem, New York in the 20s and 30s. When American soldiers came to the UK during the war, they brought the dance with them. Now, Lindy Hop is a partner dance, which is tricky for some of us at the moment. So instead, we're going to be doing a solo routine using solo moves from the 20s, 30s and 40s. OK, that's enough talking. Let's hop up and start dancing. A quick note, I'm going to assume that you've already warmed up. So if you need to pause this video and go and get your body a little bit warm, go and do that now and come back to me when you're ready. So let's talk a little bit about our posture when we're doing dances from the 20s, 30s and 40s. We're very relaxed, we're very loose. It's kind of athletic. You're not thinking ballroom like this. You're thinking relaxed, loosey-goosey, look cool. All right, so right now I'm kind of slightly forward with my weight over my feet rather than backwards like this. Okay, our dance has four sections. We are going to work on the first two sections today, but the good news is the first section that we're doing repeats a lot throughout the song. So once you've got this first bit sorted out, you're good to go for at least half of the dance. First things first, you're going to be mirroring me. So when I'm dancing, I want your body to copy what I'm doing. So when I move this leg, which is my left, you're gonna be moving your right leg. Right, here we go. So our first thing that we're going to do is something called a mambo step. You're gonna start with your weight on your left foot. So you're standing on your left foot and your right foot is ready to go. And all you're going to do is put your weight onto your right foot like this. So a little step and then step back. Step, 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 step. Do it with me, step, step. Good, all right, so we're going to go mambo and then pick up your right foot and step across your body, okay? That frees up our other foot to do the same thing again. Mambo step. So you've gone right and cross, left and cross, right and cross, left and cross. Okay, so we're going to do that together. We're gonna to do four mambo steps in total. So we're gonna go one and two, three and four, five and six, 
seven and eight. And that's going to fill two bars of dancing. So the counting along with the song is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try that again. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Mambo step, mambo step, mambo step, mambo step. And hold it right there. We've just finished our mambo step. We've got our weight on our left foot and our right foot, hopefully, is ready to move again. We're going to do something called a paddle turn. It's just a fancy way of saying we're going to tap our foot three times and step on it. And that's going to give us a little bit of movement to get around in a circle. So just watch what I do first of all. I take my right foot, I tap forwards, I tap to the side, I tap to the back, and then I'm going to step on it. Okay, let's try that again. So little weight changes, similar to when we were doing our mambo step, 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 but this time we're just doing a single pop, 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 and that's going to turn us. So five, six, seven, eight, tap, 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 and step. Very good. Now let's try that using our other foot, which hopefully is available. So weight on the right foot, ready on the left. Here we go. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, tap, 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 and step. Okay, let's put those two bits together. So starting with my weight ready on my left foot, so I can go with my right, we're gonna do our mambo steps. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One and step, two and step, three and step, four and step. Tap, tap, tap and step. Tap, tap, tap and step. Good work, all right. This time, let's talk about what we're doing with our hands. So, when I do my mambo step, I like to do this. Nice big hands, kind of pushing. We'll talk about different variations later in the week, but for now, just try that. When I do my paddle turn, for today, I'm just going to do this. So my hand on my hip, my arm nice and high, shaking my finger like this. It will look like this. Tap, tap, tap and step. Change arms. Tap, tap, tap and step. Let's try that again. Five, six, seven, eight, tap, 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 and step, tap, 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 and step. Let's put it all together with our fancy arms. Ready? Five, six, from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tap, 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 put it down, tap, tap. Tap, put it down. From here, we are going to do two more mambo steps and then pause. So watch me, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold it there. So the next part of our dance is going to be some knee slaps. These are going to repeat throughout the moves that we do. So top safety tip, if I say to you, do a knee slap, you're probably gonna do this, right? And that's fine, that works 90% of the time. However, if you're doing a jazz dance where you're repeatedly slapping your knees, after a while, and after a lot of enthusiasm, that action is gonna burn. So instead, use this, use your hand this way, don't do this, do this, and touch the edge of your legs, like this, yeah? So I'm not doing this, I'm doing this. Trust me, it's better in the long run. So, the motif we're gonna come back to time and time again with this song is hitting your knees once, twice, and twice on this side. So we're going right, left, double left. Try that with me. Five, six, seven, eight, right, left, double left. 
Now let's try that with the timing of the song. So you're going to be able to hear this phrasing in the music, but let's just try it once just with counting. So you've gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to hit on the eight. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's try that again. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very nice. That's great. We've done the first part of the dance. We're going to dance it through with the music now. We're going to do it once on each side because as you hear, the music's going to repeat. Are you ready? Give me two thumbs up. Section one, done, good job. If it's not quite there yet, don't worry. You can go back to the video as many times as you need to and keep practicing. Let's move on to section two. Section two has really only got two moves in it and you've already done one of them already. So we're sailing through right now, okay? All we're gonna do is a box step, which you've probably done before, although you definitely won't have called it a box step and you probably did a different styling with it. What a box step is, is a step forward, a step across, a step back, and a step to the side. You've just drawn a box with your feet on the ground. Watch me again. I'm going step forward with my right, across with my left, back with my right, and stepping onto my left again. Now, you're going to do three of these in a row. It's going to look like this. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold on, seven. And we're ready to do our knee slaps again. Right and left and right and right. Then put it down. And guess what we're going to do next? Repeat the whole thing on the other foot. So, Forward on the left, across on the right, back on the left, step to the side on the right. And again, two more times. Third time. Knee slap, knee slap, double knee slap. Very good. Let's try that with the music. <laughs> Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. That's our first two sections done. Give yourselves a pat on the back, go and make yourself a cup of tea, and I'll see you tomorrow for some more dancing.